Good Tuesday morning to you. I'm Eastern PA Weather Authority Meteorologist Bobby Marchers. This is your outlook for August 20th, 2013. And a very simple forecast for today. Uh, we've got a little bit of uh, some, some ground fog that will be around earlier in the morning here, but nothing too bad. Uh, we're expecting the uh, skies to clear out very nicely today. And uh, high pressure is going to be in control of our weather for the next couple of days. And we're expecting both Tuesday and Wednesday to be uh, under that influence of the high pressure that will be uh, sitting over here and uh, moving offshore. Now, one thing that's going to happen here is uh, there's a ridge that's building. And this isn't a uh, one of those big blockbuster bridges where the uh, we have a high Bermuda high pressure down here or anything like that that's just going to be pumping uh, 90 plus degree heat into the area here, but we will warm up quite nicely and probably warmer than we've been in quite some time with some heat uh, moving in for the area and this high pressure moving off to the southeast was going to change the winds directions on Wednesday to uh, for a southwesterly wind flow. So uh, what that means, very simply, uh, clear skies over entire area, that's, that's one thing, and two, uh, with that uh, shift in uh, wind direction, we're going to have an increase in heat and humidity on Wednesday but still no precipitation in this entire area. As we go further in time, uh, we're going to go to, uh, let me get off this uh, image here. We're going to go further in time here, and uh, there's going to be a cold front that's going to move approach the area on Thursday. And you can see that up here in this area here. It's moved to the southeast. There will be some precipitation out ahead of it that's going to be actually well out ahead of it. Uh, and this is in the uh, uh, Thursday afternoon, Thursday evening time frame we're allowing for uh, what we listed is just an isolated thunderstorm so far, but we might have to increase this to a more scattered event if that does, uh, in fact, happen like the European model showing here and the GFS. Take a look at the GFS here, and it's pretty much the same thing. Uh, this, the cold front's actually sitting uh, way back here uh, and way out in front of it. Uh, you have the uh, showers and thunderstorms breaking up, but these are, these are mostly uh, a, the heat of the day instability driven thunderstorms that will pop up over this area here, but the GFS has a light and isolated yet. So we're not ready to jump the gun on a more scattered approach on Thursday, but uh, either way, this cold front's going to be racing the Southeast, not expecting to stall or area or anything like that. It will be in and out. And I, th I think uh, Friday's going to end up pretty nice. Uh, clear out for just in time for the weekend here. Uh, one thing, uh, one of the other stories here this week is going to be the temperatures, and we're going to have a little bit of a roller coaster ride. Here's your look at temperatures on uh, on uh, Wednesday here, and you have uh, temperatures in the middle upper middle mid to upper 80s from north to south here. Uh, highest readings will be of course around the Philadelphia metropolitan area here, where we could come close to or maybe even reach 90 degrees, uh, especially right around the metro here, but. Uh, for most area, we're, we're talking mid upper 80s uh, for the entire region here, and uh, it's not uh, too bad uh, after that point as we get to the weekend here. Uh, temperatures back down quite a bit, but then uh, the European model and some others are showing a ridge building back in again for next week, and we have temperatures uh, actually showing a, showing 90s over this area here as we get to Tuesday and Wednesday of next week again. So we're going to have to watch this uh, you know up and down pattern here and. Uh, unfortunately, it won't be a consistently long heat wave that it's building or anything like that. At least that's not what we're looking at right now. Uh, looks like we might have some relief with these little troughs coming in from the north here, uh, settling over the northeastern United States. And uh, it, it, once we're getting out of this range here, it's really speculatory because I mean, we're, we're 228 hours in the future here, and a lot can happen, a lot can change. And the European model, for one, has been shifting back and forth between runs here between a cooler versus a, a warmer solution. So we'll see how that plays out, but uh, just know the next couple days will be on the warm side. After the cold front moves through Thursday, we it sets up a nice weekend with low humidity and temperatures back to near normal for this time of year. I'm Eastern PA Weather Authority Meteorologist Bobby Marchers. That is your outlook for Tuesday, August 20th, 2013. Have a great day.